psychic medium and spiritual teacher, Alyssa Mailhorn. And in the previous segment, we talked about Soul Age. You actually have a new book that deals with exactly that. How old is your soul? So tell us about the book. Well, the book breaks down um, how you know what soul age you are and how to understand your own soul's progression, your own soul's development, how that affects your behavior, how it motivates you, um, how it plays into your gifts that you bring into this lifetime, your challenges, and most of all, helps you understand other people, um, people that you're in relationships with, also, people, uh, for example, in the political arena or, you know, anyone that you feel like is kind of affecting your world, it helps you to understand where they are developmentally. Um, there are kind of some signposts for each of the soul ages that once you understand that, you can recognize where someone is, that people aren't doing things to you, people aren't um, behaving in ways just to cause problems sometimes. Um, if someone, you know, for example, really loves drama and they're constantly creating drama, that a lot of times is not just that they have a personal problem, it's where they are soul development wise. And they have to learn through those experiences of creating drama for their soul to get the lessons that their soul needs to get. And so when you understand that, you can up your compassion, lessen your criticism and judgment of other people, but also of yourself. So give us an, an idea, maybe an example of somebody that's in the spotlight that would be, say, a younger soul and then maybe somebody that would be an older soul so that we can kind of get a perspective of, of the differences. <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> so Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> would be an guess. example. <laughs> yeah. You want to guess? Well, I don't know. I mean, Donald Trump is, you know, he's very outspoken. Mm -hmm. And so you would label that as? He would be more of an adolescent soul age. And so people who are full grown, meaning they are, you know, after the age of about 40, because that's when you can really tell through someone's behavior what their soul age is. Um, someone who is his age, who has um, adolescent type qualities like narcissism or um, things like that, it's very common in an adolescent soul. And the cool thing is that that doesn't make him a bad person. You know, it doesn't make anyone a bad person for behaving as their soul is directing them to. It just can be difficult to understand if you're an older soul. What so about who would Hillary, be an older soul? Hillary Clinton. What about her as an example? Hillary Clinton would be, I would say, a mature soul. So not yet into the old soul realm, but more in the mature soul realm. So who would be an older soul then? If we're talking politically, someone like Bernie Sanders would be an older soul because he is more concerned about everyone as far as socialized type work. He wants everyone to have the same thing. And it's very common for older souls to want to make sure everyone is taken care of, which is why in our personal relationships, those of us who are older souls will tend to over caretake, will over nurture, uh, will tend to, you know, kind of always do too much and then end up feeling very drained and feeling like we're not getting what we need. Um, and so it's one of the lessons for an older soul is to learn how to not resent other people for you doing too much. Oh, so let me <laughs> ask you in the word N-O, no. Exactly. <laughs> Boundaries are very challenging for older souls. In terms of psychic mediums, people, you're a very very well-known name. You're based in Austin. People know your work. What do you say to people who might be critical of, of these theories and say, you know what, that's a bunch of baloney. Old soul, young soul. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, it doesn't matter to me at all because um, it's not my job to try to persuade anyone of anything for sure. Um, we all have our own truth. You know, whatever truth we're operating in is right for us at the time. So if someone is highly skeptical, they're supposed to be for whatever they are moving through developmentally on a spiritual level. That's what they're supposed to be doing. And so certainly I would never aim to, um, to try and persuade anyone otherwise. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Can souls change over time? Briefly, we're almost out of time, but is that like if you're Absolutely. an old soul, are you always an old soul? Well, yes. You start out from your first incarnations as a very young soul, and the more lifetimes you have, you become an old soul. So it's not something that happens in one lifetime. You don't make that jump like we do physically. You know, it's not oh, like that. Hopefully in the next lifetime, Houston Life will still exist, and we'll have you back as a guest. <laughs> oh, that would be Horn. wonderful. Thank I would love that. Thank you so much. <laughs>